The weather may be cold for some states, but here in Illinois, the action gets hotter and hotter. Welcome to the Gateway Doubleheader second race here at Worldwide Technology. It is a NASCAR Cup Series driver's turn to take over Worldwide Technology race with for 15 laps. Danny Hamlin in a number 11 FedEx Express Toyota Camry. He will be starting on a pole alongside with his teammate, Martin Truex Jr. Hamlin has been fast all weekend long. Let's see how he does in the race. One of the biggest stories coming into today's race are final starts for a bunch of drivers. One of them is Clint Boyer. Clint Boyer in the number 14 will be starting in third his last ever cup race. Jimmy Johnson, one of NASCAR's greatest drivers in a 48, will start 14th in his last ever full-time NASCAR Cup Series career. Matt Kenseth in the number 42 after taking over Kyle Larson, who will be starting in 15th in his last ever NASCAR Cup Series again. There's a lot of mixed emotions coming into today's race. The excitement of the doubleheader race for IndyCar and the NASCAR Cup Series and the emotions of the last starts between Clint Boyer, Matt Kenseth, and Jimmy Johnson. Now let's get to your commander started engines to kick off today's race. Take it away. Gentlemen, start your engines. The most amazing sound in motorsports are starting their engines. Clint Boyer just started his engine. He is getting ready to compete his last ever NASCAR Cup Series race. Jimmy Johnson, Matt Kenseth starting their engines one last time. And we say thank you to three of those NASCAR legends. Fans are excited. We are excited. Here we go. This is it, race fans. The cars are rolling off. Finally, to warm up their tires, getting ready to set the green flag for 15 laps. And before we go green flag racing on Gateway, let's get to your starting lineup for today's race. On row one, we got Danny Hamlin and Martin Truex Jr. On row two, it is Clint Boyer who's making his last ever NASCAR Cup Series race and Kevin Harvick. On row three, we got Kyle Busch and Ryan Blaney. On row four, it is Chase Elliott and Brad Keselowski. On row five, it is Alex Bowman who is making his last start in the 88 before he takes over Jimmy Johnson next year. Alongside with Eric Jones, this will be his last race with Joe Gibbs Racing before he takes over Bubba Wallace for the 43 of Richard Petty Motorsports next year. On row six, it is Joey Logano and William Byron. On row seven, it is Kurt Busch and Jimmy Johnson who is making his last full-time Cup Series start. On row eight, we got Matt Kendrick, who is making his last ever NASCAR Cup Series again, and rookie Tyler Reddick. On row 9, it is Austin Dillon and Chris Porcher. On row 10, it is Bubba Wallace, his last race with Richard Petty Motorsports before he goes to 2011 racing with Denny Hamlin and Michael Jordan and Ryan Newman. Row 11, we got Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and Ty Dillon. On row 12, it is Ross Chastain, his last race with Spire Motorsports before he goes to Chip Ganassi Racing in the 42 next year, and Josh Balicki. And on the final row, it is Coyle Joy, he is making his last start with Go Fast Racing. Before we go racing, as we got one more pace lap to go, let's take a look at the Gateway 400 race facts. This is a 15 lap race. 400 miles with 25 cars. Your pole sitter is the number 11 FedEx Express with Denny Hamlin. And this is the first ever cup race at Gateway. And let's take a look at the Worldwide Technology Raceway Track Facts. This is a 1.25 mile track with four turns. Turns 1 to banking is 11 degrees. And the banking for turns 3 and 4 is 9 degrees. I have a feeling this race will be a good one. So let's get to the racing, shall we? Alrighty, race fans. The pace car is about to turn left into pit lane as Ron Bove, the number 11 pole sitter, Denny Hamlin, will lead the field alongside Montrex Jr. 25 cars are set to go racing. Here they come in turn number four. Time to let them loose again and we're on the way here at Gateway. Green flag is in the air for the NASCAR Cup Series drivers. Kyle Busch makes a three wide at the back straightaway for third. As they come off a of turn four for the First time, Danny Hamlin will lead the first lap of the Gateway 400. Here comes Kyle Busch. He's got a fast car already in second. 
There goes the number four, Kevin Harvick, trying to make the run. Kyle Busch blocked, but Harvick is on the inside of Kyle Busch anyway for second. As Hamlin will lead the second lap. Where did Ryan Blaney come from? He's about to go to second. Ryan Blaney in the number 12, Money Lion. Ford Mustang is about to take the lead away from Denny Hamlin. New leader, Ryan Blaney. And here comes Joy Logano making a three wide with Alex Bowman Brakoslowski as Ryan Blaney will lead the third lap. Four laps on the way to that World West Technology Raceway. Here's a flyby of turn number two. While Ryan Blaney continues to lead the field off for turn three and four, Denny Hamlin's trying to get after Ryan Blaney. But Blaney continues to lead the race. Four laps completed, five laps underway. It looks like Ryan Blaney's all caught up with lap traffic. As the number seven of Josh Palicki will about to go one lap down as he lets Ryan Blaney through. 24 cars now are on the lead lap. As Kurt Busch just made it three wide. He was dropping like a rock at the start of the race, but he's moving up some positions. Meanwhile, more lap traffic. Corey LaJoy is about to go one lap down and he's one lap down now. While the leaders are battling against lap traffic, Ryan Blaney continues to dominate the first half of the race. Ryan Blaney's a race leader. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Domino's, you can carry out three topping pizzas for just $7.99 each. And with Domino's car side delivery, you can conveniently stay in your car while you do it. Just pull up, check in online, and we'll quickly bring your food to you. Thank you. So you don't have to get out to get carry out. Like Denny here. Hey, Hamlin. I like your PJs. PJs? What? Stay in the driver's seat with Domino's car side delivery. Back here at Gateway for the running at the Gateway 400, and we got more lap traffic as Ryan Blaney and the other leaders get through it. Now he's got to get through Ryan Newman. And William Byron trouble! Hard on the outside wall. He's still brushing the wall a bit alongside with Corey LaJoy, but no caution. We stay green. Let's take a look at the replay of what happened. Looks like Byron thought he was clear on the outside, but did not realize Corey LaJoy was still on the outside. Looks like a spotter miscommunication. You hate it for William Byron. He was running solid. Now he's done for. As we're on board with Corey LaJoy going on pit road his last race before he goes to Spire. And on board with the number 24, William Byron. Heartbreaker for the 24. Solid race. Now he's done for the day. Meanwhile, race leader Ryan Blaney trying to put Newman lap down. You know how Newman is. And Ryan Blaney takes out Ryan Newman. Oh my goodness. Denny Hamlin and Chase Elliott gets collected. The caution's going to come out. Kyle Busch is now your race leader, and I just can't believe what I just witnessed as Chase Elliott gets away from the wreckage. And I am in shock right now, ladies and gentlemen. Ryan Blaney flat out just took out Ryan Newman. The fans are going wild. We don't see Ryan Blaney like this, but Ryan Newman has every right to be mad, but Ryan Blaney was just going for the win, and we know how Ryan Newman is when it comes to being lapped. He blocks the leaders, no matter who you are. And I just can't believe Ryan Blaney just took out Ryan Newman. Is NASCAR going to do something about this? Let's take a look at the replay of what happened, shall we? It looks like Ryan Blaney, the race leader, tried to put Newman a lap down because he's got a quicker car. But Ryan Newman, everybody knows how he is when it comes to being lapped. He does not want to be lapped. He blocks the race leader. Even if Blaney tries to go lower... Newman continues to block and looks like Newman Newman goes back on track. Blaney almost ran out of racetrack and it looks like Blaney was furious at Ryan Newman. There's Denny Hamlin, innocent by standard, taking the race lead away and look at Blaney. Turns right into Newman. Denny Hamlin, an innocent bystander, Chase Elliott nowhere to go. It looks like Kyle Busch knew something was going to happen and thankfully... He called it. The yellow is out. So at the moment of caution, Kyle Busch is the race leader. And I just can't believe what I just saw. Looks like NASCAR will do something about this. We're getting a word from NASCAR that Ryan Blaney in the number 12 will be disqualified for his actions, black flagged, and will be done for the day. Wow. I just still can't believe what just happened. While we're still under yellow... Here we got Chase Elliott on pit road, alongside with his teammate William Byron, who's still getting repairs. Ryan Blaney, black flagged and done for the day. He's getting hooked and towed away. He's wrong board with Ryan Newman once again. He goes to the flatbed, calling it done 
He's going to call it quits. And you just hate it for Ryan Blaney and Denny Hamlin. They both had the fastest car all day, but then Ryan Blaney did that to Ryan Newman. And I'm sure NASCAR's not pleased about that after they made that call. They're on board Denny Hamlin, another fast car who was the pole sitter. Kyle Busch is currently leading. We'll be right back for the green white checkered here at Gateway. Drivers, start your engines. Now that we're an official partner of NASCAR, say hello to the new look of Blue Emu. Gets down deep into your joints and muscles for fast acting relief. They work fast and you won't stink. Welcome back to the Gateway 400 here at the Worldwide Technology Raceway as Kyle Busch and Kevin Harvick will share the front row. Green white checker, first attempt. We're about to go racing as the pace car turns left. Kyle Busch will lead the field and we're underway. Two laps to go. Kyle Busch, an amazing restart, but here comes Joey Logano. He's got a better execution. Logano in P2. Alex Bowman making a three wide for third as they go to turn three and four. Off of turn number four. White flag is out. One lap to go. Here comes Alex Bowman going out to Joey Logano to the inside. Bowman takes the lead in one and two for the final time. What a last lap pass for number 88 as they're in the back stretch for the final time. Oh, we got trouble. Kevin Harvey, Jimmy Johnson, Eric Jones, Brian Kislowski, a bunch of drivers just stacked them up. The track is blocked. The caution is going to come out. And Alex Bowman is going to win the Gateway 400 here at Worldwide Technology Raceway. Let's take a look at the replay of what happened because we just had the big one. Looks like Kevin Harvick thought he was clear, just like the William Byron thing, but then Johnson was there. Jones almost had an avoidance. Boyer got into Johnson, then Johnson got into Jones. Kozlowski had nowhere to go. Kurt Busch had nowhere to go. Matt Kenseth had nowhere to go. Look at Bubba Wallace, Tyler Reddick, Ross Chastain, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., a bunch of others. They're not part of the wreck, but the track is blocked, so they got to wait to clear things out. And just, wow, that's like six or eight cars involved in that crash. That is insane. Thankfully, the caution is out, and Alex Bowman is the winner of the Gateway 400. While the cleanup continues, we're going to go to commercial break. We'll be right back. Don't be conventional. Kevin Harvick? Be exceptional. Upgrade to Mobile One Synthetic Motor Oil. It helps your engine last over 250,000 miles. Wow. What's he doing? Raving. He's exceptional. So is Mobile One. Yes. Is this good? I do not know. Get 250,000 miles of protection. Upgrade to Mobile One. After a term of events of a race here at Worldwide Technology Raceway, the cleanup continues at this track. Alex Bowman is the winner. He's now in victory lane. As we got the other cars who were part of the wreck, some got damaged, some avoided it, but were part of the blockage, and some even avoided the crash. So here's Alex Bowman in victory lane. Now let's take a look at the finishing results after this amazing race. And once again, congratulations to Alex Bowman on winning the 2020 Gateway 400 Joey Logano in the number 22, AAA Insurance Ford Fusion. He comes home in second place. He had a fast car today. Kyle Busch in the Interstate Batteries Toyota Camry. He finishes third. He had a good restart, but just could not execute on the last lap. Martin Jax Jr. finishes fourth. We thought he was going to have a fast car, but wasn't meant to be for Truex. And Brad Zosky, who was part of the crash, he finishes fifth, a lap down. Jimmy Johnson in his last ever full-time Cup Series race. He finishes sixth. He was part of the crash. Bubba Wallace comes home in seventh place. His last race was Richard Petty Motorsports. He did not get any damage from the last lap crash. Same thing with Tyler Reddick. Rookie Tyler Reddick finishes eighth place. Ross Chastain, I believe he was one lap down. But he somehow manages to finish ninth in his last race with Spire Motorsports. Ty Dillon in the number 33. He finishes 10th place in the top 10. Chase Elliott, who was part of the, the previous crash, he was a couple of laps down. He finishes 11th. Austin Dillon comes home in 12th. Not a good race for Richard George's racing, especially for Austin Dillon. Corey LaJoy, he finishes 13th in his last race the Go Fast Racing. 14th place goes to Ricky Stenhouse Jr. in the num number 47 Kroger Chevy Camaro. 15th place goes to Josh Balicki in the number 7 Road Rippers Nego Throwback. 
and Eric Jones, he DNF'd after being part of the crash. He finishes 16th in his last race with Joe Gibbs Racing. 17th is Kevin Harvey. He had a good race. Unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be for the number 4. Kurt Busch, solid race. Unfortunately, he finishes in 18th. He was part of the crash. Clint Boyer in his last ever NASCAR Cup Series race. He finishes 19th after being part of the crash. Same thing with Matt Kenseth. His last race in the Cup Series. Once again, he'll finish in 20th DNF. Chris Busher. Quiet race. He finishes 21st. I believe he was part of the wreck. He did get some damage, yes. William Byron, after a solid race, he comes home in 22nd after having some issues after being a while with the joy. And Denny Hamlin, the pole sitter, finishes 23rd. What a heartbreak. Ryan Newman comes home in 24th after being taken out by Ryan Blaney. And speaking of Ryan Blaney, he finishes 25th. Remember, he got penalized. Sucks for Blaney. He had a good race, but then that happened. Today was sure an eventful race at Madison, Illinois at Worldwide Technology Raceway. First, we had the IndyCar Series drivers racing for 12 laps. It was sure an interesting race. Unfortunately, Ryan hunter Ray wasn't a crash. But Tony Kanan, after dominating the IndyCar race, he manages to get the win at Worldwide Technology Raceway. And then we had the NASCAR Cup Series stars. It was their turn to go racing at Worldwide Technology Raceway. And it was sure an eventful race, all right, with Alex Bowman making an amazing last lap pass for the win. Although the race ended under yellow, it was sure a good race. And for the last time, we want to say thank you to Clint Boyer, Matt Kenseth, and Jimmy Johnson for all the hard work off track and on track. We will miss you guys on track in the stock car world. And that's going to do it for today's race. I'm going to say thank you wonderful race fans for watching this amazing Gateway Doubleheader race. I hope you guys have a happy holidays and a happy new year. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for watching this race. This is Ian Press 48 signing off and thank you for supporting EU Nation. Goodbye everybody. Happy holidays.